Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to move your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 installation from one PC to another. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be looking at ways of moving our Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 installation from one PC to another. It is a huge download, uh, around about 92 gigabytes if you're lucky, sometimes a little bit more. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a mess. And obviously, if you've got to install it on multiple PCs, or maybe you're benchmarking, testing, or you've just bought a new PC and you want to move your game from one PC to another, yeah, it's not the easiest of things to do. Now, if you're using Steam, then it is a little bit easier because you can just move your Steam apps. We won't be going into that in this particular video. This is concentrating more on those that have bought it from the Microsoft Store. Uh, those have taken advantage of the new Game Pass for like a pound or whatever it was. But maybe you want to put it on a different PC, benchmarks, testing, whatever the case may be. Anyway, I'm Witcher on. Let's get on with it. So the things you're going to need for this is some form of storage. Now you can use anything. You can use a, a NAS drive if you've got a NAS drive. That is going to be a slightly slower way of doing it, depending on your NAS drive. But obviously you can do it that way. But essentially you need a device as an interim between one PC and the other. Now for this particular instance, I'm going to be using a removable USB drive. This is a silicon power drive. This is a 512 gigabyte. So it should be absolutely ample room. Now obviously to make the job a lot quicker, the faster the drive you can get, the faster it's going to be. We are transferring a huge amount of data. So with that said, let's get on with it. So first of all, on our main PC. So this is the PC that Flight Sim is actually installed on. This is my main desktop which has been used on. So what we need to do first of all is plug in our USB drive, which I'll do now. And as you can see, this has already got the folder in that we need. So I'll just go through this. I did check it just to make sure that this all works before I plan to make a video on it. So the main thing we need to copy across here is a folder called official, which is this one here and also this one here. So if you've done the normal, regular install from the Microsoft Store, and you've followed all the defaults when it came to installation, this is where you're gonna find that folder. So in Windows Explorer, you wanna to navigate to your user profile, app data, local, packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator, then a string of numbers, then local cache, then packages, and you should find there's a community folder and an official folder. So if I close this other window, get rid of all these, and let's open up another Explorer window, and I'll show you exactly how to find it. So go into your local disk C, and actually go into view, and make sure that hidden items is shown. So you want to go down to users, then go into your particular user profile, which is this one here for me. The next thing to do is to go into app data, which will only be visible if you've actually got hidden files shown. As you can see, it's slightly grayed out there. So app data, then into local. Then we want to scroll right the way down to packages. And there's packages. And then in packages folder, you should have tons and tons of folders in there. But we want to go down until you see the one that says Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it's got a string starting with the eight, which is this one here. Double click on that. And then we want to go into local cache. And then from local cache, we need to again go into packages. And we've got our community and official folder. So you can, if you want to, you can copy both of those. It's entirely up to you, but we're going to just copy this one for now. So official, right click on it and choose copy. Then we're going to go into our external drive, which is our new volume Z, and right click and then choose paste. So normally you have, it will allow you to do this, but it says for me, your organization does not allow you to place this here. You click on try again. And because it's actually already there, it won't try and do it. So we'll cancel that. Obviously we've got our folders there. If we look into official, you've got another folder called one store. And inside of there is basically all the information that the game requires, all the assets, all those kinds of things. So basically what we're doing, we're copying the main bulk of the assets. You still will need to download partial installation parts of the Flight Sim 2020. And if we go to the other PC now, I will show you 
how to copy it back across. We'll close these windows, we don't need those anymore. And then we'll go over to the other computer. Eject in the drive, and then we'll take that out there. So now we're on the other computer, we've plugged in the USB drive, so if we go into the main drive, so there's our new volume, which has got the backup folder, the official folder. And we've already gone ahead and installed Microsoft Flight Simulator. What you would do is go into the Microsoft Store, download the app, get it partially installed, and when it gets to the point where it asks you your location, just leave it as a standard location, or alternately, you can change it if you want to, put it wherever you want. If you put it, say for instance, in your D drive, then you'll probably find that the package will end up being in kind of like D games, local cache packages, and official. So just official is basically the folder we're looking for in this Microsoft Flight Sim. So once you've got the actual game installed, when it gets to around about, well, 5%, 4%, anything like that, just so it's actually built some of the files, you would come down to the bottom here, close down the installer, and make sure that the Xbox app isn't running. So look in this bottom corner. If the Xbox app is still showing, then you need to cancel it, right click on it and choose exit. So once you're happy that's done and you've downloaded a couple of percent of the files, not the whole thing, just a couple of percent, maybe, I don't know, a gig or so, that should be more than enough. Then what you can do is open up the location that you've installed the game in. Again, we've done this in the default location in this, this particular instance. Go into drive C. And I'll put this, this is the actual location here. I will put this in the video description so you can just go straight into there or copy and paste it. Obviously that is for the default installation only. So on your other computer, go into users, then go into your user account. So this one is stream. The other one was my M church one. So we'll go into there. Then we'll go into app data. Again, making sure that we've gone into view and showing all hidden items. Hopefully don't close the window while you're doing it. So into users, stream, then go app data. Then we go into local. Scroll the way down so you find packages. Then we want to go scrolling down again until we find Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is there. Double click on that. And then there'll be the local cache folder. And then we've got packages. And there is our official file. So at the moment, this is only about 94 gigs because I've already copied the data around. But what you do is then from your other drive, so we'll open up another one, another file explorer, drag that over to the side so we've got the two next to each other. So you'd go to your backup on the new volume, right click on the official, which is our full size one, which would be about 95 gigs. Just choose copy, go over to the local cache on your main drive, right click on there, choose paste and it'll go through and it'll try and copy all the data. Now, obviously I don't want it to do this because I've already done it just to see if this does actually work, but essentially that's what it's gonna do. It's actually gonna go ahead and do it anyway. You can, if you want to, you can cancel this because we've already got the files there, it's absolutely fine. And when you open up Flight Sim for the first time, it will take a little while because it's gonna be re-verifying all the files, but after about five minutes or so, or sometimes even less depending on your PC speed, then you should be up and running. Okay, so there you go. There is a relatively straightforward and definitely a time-saving way of copying your Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 installation from one PC to another one. It does involve you installing partially the app itself, so it's not an entire copy and paste. You do have to get some of the preliminary files installed for it to be able to just pop over that official file. But once it's done that, it is really quick. And again, depending on the speed of your drive, you may find this takes I don't know, 15 minutes or so on a fast disk drive. So 15 minutes to copy some files across rather than waiting a couple of hours to download 95 gigs is certainly much better in my book. So if you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.